all right morning guys welcome back to Trevina space so i tried to do the first part of this video and my phone just started to act up so i'm sorry about that but let's get back into the video so what we'll be making this morning is cornmeal porridge you now if you can see i've already poured the cornmeal mixture into the cup um, before we get into the video guys thank you so much for subscribing for those of you who are visiting the channel go ahead like share and subscribe if you like the videos that we that you see and make some suggestions let me know what it is that you'd like to see me prepare on this or in my space all right so as i said before we have cornmeal now so we have a cup a cup and a half we have a cup and a half of cornmeal in this container and to that i added two cups of water now you want to ensure that you add water to the cornmeal before you pour it into the boiling water because once you do it's going to start to thicken so you want to ensure that you start to mix it with some water before you pour it into your pot okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and mix together the cornmeal and the water so that you can get a nice consistency to pour into the boiling water because as i said i already have two cups of water on the stove boiling and of course i put three cinnamon leaves in the water so that it can start to flavor the water now to this mixture i'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt why add salt at a person salt brings out the flavor in anything that you do so whether sweet or savory you can always add a little salt to help enhance the flavors of whatever this you're preparing all right now the pot is boiling so we're gonna go right ahead and start to pour the cornmeal mixture into the boiling water all right all right guys so we've gone ahead and poured the cornmeal mixture into the pot now once you've poured the mixture into the pot you're gonna want to keep stirring using a whisk you're gonna stir now it's very thick right now don't pay that too much mind because you it's gonna cook but you're gonna need to add a little more water to this because as you can see the consistency is really thick and you want it to be thick but you don't want it to be to the point where it's almost pudding all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more water to it and continue stirring so I'm adding another cup of water to this mixture and as we said continue mixing because you don't want to have lumpy cornmeal at all now it might look a little lumpy right now but, but that's because you just added the water to it but once you started to mix you'll notice it starts to get right back to the proper consistency now remember as I said before we added the cinnamon leaf to the boiling water so that we can have the taste of the cinnamon without the porridge actually changing color to that I'm gonna finish adding the rest of water to the mixture and just continue mixing now you want to continue stirring this for about two minutes once you've poured the mixture into the boiling water because as I said you don't want to have lumpy porridge all right, all right guys so I'm still mixing If you notice the consistency is thick and nice and don't worry this is not going to be the end product now be very careful with this because once cornmeal start, starts to burn starts to boil sorry <laughs> you don't want that to be burning you because trust me it is really really bad all right so what I normally do when I'm doing my cornmeal part I don't make it too thin because once it reaches to this consistency what I do I cover it and as I said, I turn the heat on to low and I'm going to leave it like that to cook for about five minutes.
so guys periodically during that 15 minutes i just come and i stir it you notice that the consistency is starting to get a little thinner because when i boil it i cover it with the the lid for the pot and you allow the steam and the liquid from itself to help thin it out so i don't want it to be too runny so that is how i keep um, that nice consistency for my porridge now as i said periodically i just come back and stir it just to ensure that it's coming together nicely it's not stuck, it's not being burnt at the bottom anything like that and just mix it together So I'm gonna put it back to finish steaming because it has about another 10 minutes. It's just been about five minutes, guys. So it has another 10 minutes to go. Hey okay, guys, so this has been boiling for about 15 minutes now. And as you can see, the consistency is really nice and it's coming together. Don't pay attention to that. That's my mom in the background. Alright, guys, so this is it. So I think I'm gonna let it boil for another five minutes. And when it's done, then I'm going to go ahead and spice it up and it will be done and ready to eat. So another five minutes, guys. All right, guys. So it's been boiling for another five minutes. Please don't pay attention. That's my mom in the background. All right. So it's about finished. So I'm going to go ahead and put nutmeg. Told you I use nutmeg. And we're going to grate that into the pot. Now again, remember I told you we really don't measure. So I'm just grating until I feel that I have enough in there to spice up the porridge. Alright guys, so I mixed in the vanilla and I'm just going to add, a, um, not the vanilla, the nutmeg, I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla to the, to the mixture. I added some earlier but just pouring a little bit more and we're going to mix that together and then we're going to turn the, all the fire off. Now only thing that you have to do from here is just to add your, your condensed milk because of course we're going to see your condensed milk to the mixture so let me just show you what it looks like this is what the end product looks like really nice thick consistency is that coming out oh jeez all right all right so we're adding the condensed milk to the porridge now to sweeten it As I said, I generally sweeten my part once I've turned it off. And we're just mixing everything together. It's as simple as that. Just added the milk, guys. Remember, so we're just mixing it all together. So of course you're going to sweeten to taste, everybody's taste buds is different so you put any amount of milk you need in it to taste, alright? So that's not something that I measure, I do just put it in until I'm okay. So this is the finished product. So we're just going to go ahead and plate it and the breakfast is served guys. Alright guys, so we're just going to pour it into the pot. Into the plates, I should say, the bowls. And that's it. That is our cornmeal porridge this morning, guys. Take a look. Just look at the steam. It is so good. 
we still have some left in the pot of course we're gonna eat that's not gonna go to waste but this is the final product guys you're seeing the specks of nutmeg we even see a piece of the leaf over there guys it's so good oh my gosh guys let me tell you jamaican porridge is not porridge and bless break up some crackers on it so I have some Celsius water crackers here and I'm just gonna break about four or five on top of it just about four or five and that's it cannot have porridge with crackers here it's a must guys Oh, just look at that it is done and ready to be eaten